All right, so today, guys, I'm going to show you how to take a vest just like this out of the EUP and earpiece vest pack from Hanko. Um, and we're going to actually reskin it. So instead of the state trooper in this black in color, we're actually going to make it say uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. And we're probably going to do some sort of green color. Uh, and we're just going to show you how to do that real quick and easy. This is using GIMP, uh, not Paint.net or anything. Uh, there will be similarities, but there's different tools and, and workflows and things like that. So will be a little different if you're not using GIMP, but uh, just try your best to follow along. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But the first thing is we need to find the matching texture here. So task, task zero, not task one or two, zero, zero A. So A means the first texture of task zero. Task diff means that it's different. It means it's the different textures for the same number. So task diff zero thousand. 0,000, that's a number. But anyway, open that up. There's the same texture we just saw on the vest. Export selected. And we'll do it right there. And then we'll go open that folder, downloads, SAT vest. And then we'll open this up in GIMP. Boom, so there it is. And one of the first things we wanna do since we did wanna change the color scheme, um, we wanna go ahead and figure out what we wanna keep before we do that. So, this body cam right here. I wanna keep that texture. So I'm actually gonna just kinda of get it selected here. And we'll, we'll mess around with it a little bit, try to get it close. And then next step would to be copy, paste it. Paste this to a new layer. So that way, when you take it away, it's still there. So that way when we change the color of everything that's black that we didn't uh, want to keep the same color it is now um, and we change it to green it won't change like the body cam and the patches and the words at the same time so that's why we use layers keep track of stuff uh, you can sit there and name it and all that if you want to I don't do that except on big projects so body cam um, I do want to keep this American flag patch Let's see yep do want to keep that going there. So we'll copy and paste that to a new layer as well. And you're going to do this for all these patches. Now for the circle, uh, you're not going to square select that because uh, the way it will work, it'll show up on the vest. So what we want to do is actually uh, ellipse select. So you do like this and then you just move it around until it's perfect around the circle. All right, once you have all the little patches and stuff that you want to keep, we're going to go ahead and do the coloring. So we're going to go to the main thing right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and we'll start with the main body of the vest. I'm not going to do all of it at one time because uh, it is just easier to do it this way. Uh, to get everything accurate and not have any bleeding or anything that you need to go back and edit later. So just do it in quadrants and you'll be good. So get that selected up real good. And then while it's still selected, right click inside of it, colors, go down to colorize. And you can already kind of see what's going on here. So we want to get that green tint for the sheriff department. So we're going to go ahead and go down here in the green, jump down here into the colors and just experiment and find the color that you want. Just edit all this, slide up through there and you'll find what you're looking for. And if you're having the kind of problem I am here, you know, it's kind of actually still kind of... I don't know the brightness is not there so we can kind of bring it up a little bit play with the level and then like I said just experiment with the color till you find the hue you want the brightness and all of that and once you do that you can go ahead and smack it on there all right I've found that kind of olive green color that I'm looking for so I'm gonna actually make sure that that color is put into the custom colors right here to use later and then uh, if you want to, you can experiment with the different modes of the colorize, but I usually just use the regular one on this kind of stuff. But other things, it does have, uh, you know, different kinds of uses, but we're just going to use normal for now. All right, so that's there. We can go ahead and deselect that by grabbing the select tool and clicking outside of that. And this right here is the walkie talkie in the pockets and stuff. So if you want to, you can, uh, if you wanted the pockets of like your gun holster and all that good stuff, the flashlight holder and all of that to be like green, you can go in here and do select boxes and do that. 
but I'm gonna leave all that black. I just want to get the body of the vest and uh, these patches and stuff to kind of match the green color scheme. Uh, but as far as all that right there, um, you can edit whichever you want, but I'm gonna leave it alone for now. But the body of the vest and the pouches and stuff, those are green. Now we're gonna hit these uh, patches. So this one right here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is actually get the color picker tool and we're gonna go in here and pick a pixel that resonates with this whole kind of gray color here. So we're gonna go somewhere right there, right? Then grab a paintbrush while you have this layer selected and just boop, 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 boop. <laughs> just like that. You know, just get rid of the old words and then we'll have a solid background. Uh, if you wanted to pixelate the background, uh again like it was to make it like it's actually fabric and stuff uh you can do that you can play around with distortion effects and stuff different filters and you can make that look uh, i'm not really going to worry about it i'm just not going to bleed on the edges there i'm going to leave that looking crispy on the edges just a nice solid background for our text and for this color operation we're fixing to do so what we're going to go ahead and do you guessed it right click colors colorize and then we're going to bring that lightness up kind of like we did before a little bit with this. And then we're going to go ahead and use the custom color. And that looks good, but a little bit more lightness. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Hit okay on that. And now we have a blank patch that we can put, you know, Blank County Sheriff's Office, K9, Narcotics Unit, whatever we want it to say. Uh, I'm assuming since this is bigger, this is the back patch. Um, if we can actually open that up real quick. Big patch on the back, little patch on the front. And then you saw like these little pouches that I said you could color if you wanted to. And especially for the radio, you want to keep that the same color. But yeah. So we'll go down in here, we'll do the same thing for the state trooper one for the front. We'll go ahead and get our gray color and our paintbrush. And we're just going to make another background and colorize it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you will notice detail up front if it's a big patch. So, you know, try to be good at it. It doesn't have to be perfect though. Uh, colors, color rise. Bring that lightness up and find our color again. And we're gonna get that lightness until it matches. Oh, what we've already got down there. Push it down, boom, I like that, boom, perfect. So two patches for our text. So we'll go ahead and actually do that real quick. So grab the patch with that layer selected, text. Um, you can download fonts online, uh, like 1001fonts.com, whatisfont.com, things of that nature, to go find whatever you want. Most police fonts are sans serif that I've noticed, or sans themselves, but I like sans serif. So that's what we're gonna be using. Uh, we'll use a little bit of an italic, uh, just use some kind of small size. We can scale it here in a minute. Um, and then we're going to use, you know what? Let's use a little bit of white on the best. Let's try some white text, see if that looks good. So I'm just going to say Sheriff. And we can actually make that way bigger. So I want this to be the main thing here. Sheriff. Kind of center it. I like symmetry. A lot of people do. So that's kind of what I like to do by default. And then we're going to go down here. And in yellow, just to look cool, look a little different. We'll go down here and we'll say Blaine County. And it won't be that small. We'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, that'll look good, I think. So either down here, or down here, that looks good. Centering, I don't have any snapping centering grids or anything. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. But yeah, I like that. 
Another thing you could do if you wanted to make the same thing for the smaller one, you could just copy this layer and scale it down and put it right here. But I wanted to make it say something a little different. Alright. So that looks pretty good. It's nothing crazy. This is just a vest. Uh, vests are really just changing the color and putting different text on the patches and whatnot. And if you wanted to find a real patch so that it looks like it's fabric without doing the effects and all that stuff, simply just, you know, go to Google and look. I mean, there's there's patches everywhere, bro. You can just edit these, bring them in, edit them, make sure they're good quality before you grab them off of Google. You don't want to put any kind of low quality patch in if you have other high quality stuff on the vest. It doesn't resonate well. Just high quality all the time. And it, it just looks so much better. A look at these you can trim these and these look like they're actually stitched into like a patch it just looks cool and you can use that and it'll look real in game I mean, that's all everybody's doing like see this guy found a higher res photo of the patch and put it on the uniform to make it look you know that much better so that's just an example man you can do anything you want man pretty easy so after you do this you pretty much just right click merge all the visible layers and then make sure everything's deselected and boom you got this new vest so actually go ahead and overwrite the original texture that you exported from the texture dictionary file of the vest that we are editing and you can see that's exporting down at the bottom of GIMP there once that gets done we're going to replace it and view it all right so hop back into the directory and the path wherever this vest is at and you can see task to our task 000, which is this one. And we're gonna be making that one uh, the green one with the share. And the way this works with the model viewer in OpenIV, uh, to my knowledge, is it will only show you, when you double click up here, it will only show you the first texture. So texture A for task, whatever, right? So if we go down here to task, it's not gonna show us task diff 2000B, right? It could be here and it can work in game, but in the model viewer for the preview purposes, it's only going to show you A, which is convenient because that's the one we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and open up, replace with the one we edited, hit save. It could take a minute. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, there we go. And then right back up here to take a look at it. Task zero. Yeah, there's our green. Everything that we wanted to stay black stayed black, including like the body cam, the patches. It's not like a bad color green either. Turned out pretty nice looking. See how the patch still looks pretty good. We could have done better on our edges and we could have made texture on the green instead of making it plain, but this is, you know, just for video purposes. But you can tell, you know, especially with the color grading and stuff, it just looks awesome. If you want me to, I'll make more videos on car liveries, on like uniforms. We can do pants, shirts, uh, things of that nature. Uh, we can go into ultimate backup, making sure that the NPCs come showing up. You know, wearing this kind of stuff that you want them to wear. Their body cam props and armors, uh, the right holsters, the right hats and all that. I can show you how to do that. Uh, just whatever you want, let me know in the comments. And yeah, so if you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. More videos coming soon, I promise. Back in it.